Hello students, in this video we are going to study about astronomical telescope which is a type of refracting telescope and it is used to see heavy heavenly objects like sun, stars, planets or we can see heavenly distant objects okay uh, by astronomical telescope we can see heavenly distant objects for example sun moon planets etc and that's why it is used in astronomical studies and is called astronomical telescope that is the reason why it is named as astronomical telescope the final image that is formed by this telescope is inverted one and if we talk about its construction it consists of two lenses one is the objective and the other one is the eyepiece so the final image that is formed by this astronomical telescope is inverted it forms inverted image and it consists of two lenses uh, one is the objective and the other one is the eyepiece so in its construction there are two lenses first is objective and the second one is eyepiece so objective is the lens which is near the object and eyepiece is the lens which is near the observer's eye right both are converging or convex lenses so objective is a convex lens objective is a convex lens of large focal length in case of microscope we take small focal length lenses but in telescope we are taking large focal length lenses okay so objective is a convex lens or a converging lens of large focal length and it has much larger aperture the need of larger aperture is as we are seeing large size objects so light coming towards the lens should be captured by it that's why we are taking a larger aperture lens so the lens that we are using an objective which is near the object or towards the side of the object we can't say it is near the object but it is towards the object side that is convex lens or converging lens of large focal length and much larger aperture it faces the distant object and to form bright image of the distant object it is taken large so that it can gather sufficient amount of light that is coming from the distant object the reason of using larger aperture is that the light rays which are coming from the object are captured by this lens in a sufficient amount so as to get the brighter and clear image so larger aperture ki wajah se hume bright and clear image milta hai that's why we take a larger aperture lens this is about the objective now the second lens is the eyepiece which is towards the observer eye it is again a converging or a convex lens of a small focal length but this time this this lens is of small focal length this we have to remember in case of microscope both lenses were of small focal length but if we compare the focal lengths of those two so the com focal length of eyepiece was more than that of objective that was the case of compound microscope but in this case objective has much larger focal length as compared to eyepiece eyepiece will have usual small focal length and its aperture also its aperture is also small because uh, it is there is no need of large aperture in case of eyepiece it is not gathering light from the object so it has small focal length and small aperture it faces the eye it is the lens which is towards the eye and the aperture of this eyepiece is small so that the whole light that is in the telescope can enter the eye for distinct vision that means wo jo telescope tube mein light hai that all gathered in a place and 
enter the observer's eye for distinct vision so the need of a small aperture is whole light so that whole light of telescope may enter the eye and if it is so then we get a distinct vision so the need of this is for distinct vision now in the working of this telescope there are again two cases in case one the final image is formed at d that is least distance of distinct vision and in case two the final image is formed at infinity and we call it as normal adjustment so first we are moving to case one so the first case in working is when the final image that we are getting is at least distance of distinct vision or capital d the diagram of it can be represented as shown here so this is the objective which is larger in aperture as compared to the eyepiece and it faces towards the object while eyepiece is towards the eye of the observer the rays here coming from the distant object or infinity that's why we take them as parallel okay and after refraction from the objective these rays converge suppose there is an object ab at some far point then the rays coming from it are parallel and get converged to give a image a dash b dash now this image act as an object for the eyepiece and we have to adjust the distance of the eyepiece so that the image a dash b dash here lie within its focal length so is eyepiece ko hame aage piche karke is tarike se iski position adjust karna hai so that this image that we are getting from the objective lies somewhere between optical center of eyepiece this is eyepiece okay optical center of eyepiece and its focus within its focus ye image lie kare now this image a dash b dash act as object for that eyepiece and that eyepiece magnify this image and give us the final image a double dash b double dash which is magnified and inverted with respect to the object we have so here somewhere we have the object a b from which light rays parallel light rays are coming and uska hame image dekhna hai so from objective we get its image a dash b dash which act as object for eyepiece and eyepiece again magnify it to give us an inverted and magnified image a double dash b double dash with respect to the object and the final image that is forming there is seen distinctly by the eye at least distance of distinct vision in this kind of arrangement the image we are seeing is at least distance of distinct vision so that's how this astronomical telescope in this formation work when it get final image at point capital d now if we talk about its magnifying power so magnifying power of a telescope is similar to that of compound micros microscope we define it in a similar way so here magnifying power of a telescope is defined as the ratio of angle subtended at the eye by the final image okay subtended at the eye by the final image that means beta now the final image should be at d in this definition the final image should be at d to the iska ratio hame lena hai to the angle subtended at the eye by the object at infinity so what is magnifying power magnifying power is the angle subtended by image subtended by image or i should write final image because there are two images so first one ki baat nahi kar rahe hain we are talking about final image angle subtended by the final image now this final image is formed at d then angle subtended by this final image at i this to that of इसका रेशियो हमें लेना है टू दैट ऑफ एंगल सबटेंडेड बाय ऑब्जेक्ट एट द टाइम ऑब्जेक्ट शुड बी एट इन्फिनिटी और अ वेरी फार 
place so by object at i this ratio is called magnifying power and we can give it as beta upon alpha now for small values of beta upon alpha can be approximated as 10 beta upon 10 alpha so to calculate magnifying power our task is to find 10 beta and 10 alpha and we will substitute it here so from the diagram we are going to find 10 beta and 10 alpha first let's see for 10 beta we are going to use the triangle a dash b dash e in this triangle 10 beta is equal to perpendicular upon base so we can write it as 10 beta is equal to perpendicular is a dash b dash and base is b dash e base is b dash e okay this is 10 beta now for 10 alpha we are going to use the triangle alpha is actually the angle formed here right so we are going to use this triangle because these are vertically opposite angle now this alpha is not subtended at i it is subtended at the objective lens but since our object is very far so in comparison to that distance this position or the position of i are approximately same that's why we consider the angle formed by the object which is far away from us the angle subtended by such object at objective is approximately equal to the angle subtended by it on the i so we need the angle subtended by it on i but we are using the value of the angle that object is making at objective because these are approximately same okay so this is the required angle alpha and by a vertically opposite angle property this is also alpha so in the triangle a dash b dash and i am naming it as o okay objective ka optical center so in the triangle a dash o dash o b dash the value for 10 alpha can be given as a dash b dash upon o b dash right this is 10 alpha now this is 10 beta upon 10 alpha we are going to substitute these values in magnifying power so it will be equal to a dash b dash upon b dash e upon a dash b dash upon o b dash on solving we get m is equal to o b dash upon b dash e now o b dash is the if we see the diagram o b dash this is o and this is b dash so o b dash is the focal length of the objective which is taken in the direction of light o b dash right towards right so it is f naught in positive plus f naught taken as positive because it is in the direction of light ray of light traveling in the same direction now b dash e for b dash e it is the this is the object distance for eyepiece because a dash b dash is acting as object for this eyepiece then we can say it as the object distance from for eyepiece since it is the object distance for eyepiece so we have to measure it from e and when we measure it from e to b dash it is a direction opposite to that of light traveling means light is traveling from left to right light is going like this and we are getting the distance e to b dash like this okay these are opposite to each other so we have to take negative sign here so this is object distance for eyepiece in negative that means the value will be minus f naught upon ue now we can solve it more by using the lens formula for eyepiece for this we are considering the case of eyepiece for this eyepiece we know that the object distance is ue in negative and image final image is forming at d the image of this eyepiece is forming at d which is again opposite to the direction of light means we have to take it in negative so image distance is also minus d and if we apply lens formula here 1 upon v minus 1 upon u is equal to 1 upon f if we apply this we get minus 1 upon d minus 1 upon minus u e is equal to 1 upon f e and on solving this we get the value of 1 upon u e is equal to 1 upon f e and 1 plus f e upon d this is the value we get by solving this equation if you rearrange this equation 
you get first you get 1 upon u e is equal to 1 upon f e plus 1 upon d and then we take 1 upon f e common so we get 1 upon f e into 1 plus f e upon d now this value we are going to substitute in the formula of magnifying power that we get so the required relation that we get for m is minus f naught upon f e 1 plus f e upon d okay this is the required magnifying power of astronomical telescope in the case when its final image is forming at least distance of distinct vision and for large value of m for large magnifying power there should be the condition that f naught is much much greater than f e objective ka focal length should be much much greater than f e and the negative sign of magnifying power indicates that the final image we get will be real and inverted so here this negative sign shows the final image will be real and inverted so this is case one of the working of astronomical telescope now move to case two where final image will form at infinity so this is the second case when we adjust the distance between the two lenses such that the final image we get is at infinity so in this case let's see the diagram in this case again the object is far from e uh, us or it is at a farther place or we consider it as infinity so the rays are coming from the object are parallel and get converged at some point and give us a diminished image the image that we get will be a real inverted and diminished and this image is a dash b dash if the object is a b at some far point then we get the real diminished and inverted image a dash b dash at some point this point should be the focus of objective and this magnif this uh, formation of image a dash b dash is because of the objective so a dash b dash is the image that we get from objective while this image will work as an object for eyepiece okay so this image of the object a b this image will work as an object for the eyepiece now we have to adjust the position of eyepiece such that this image exactly form at the focus of the eyepiece so this we have to do by moving the uh, arrangement of these lenses we can vary that arrangement the distance between those lenses and we will adjust them such that this image we are getting a dash b dash we are getting at the focus of eyepiece and when it is so jab aisa hum arrange kar lenge then the eyepiece will give us a magnified image that will be inverted and will form at infinity since the object is at focus so this lens this eyepiece will give us an image at infinity which will be highly magnified and inverted okay so the final image that we will get at infinity final image will be at infinity highly magnified and inverted now if we talk about the magnifying power in this case so it is again the ratio of angle beta upon alpha but in this case the angle beta is the angle subtended by the final image at the eye as seen through the telescope to the angle subtended at the eye by the object seen directly okay so m is the the magnifying power small m is the ratio of angle subtended by image at the time the image is at infinity and it is seen as seen by telescope image we have to see by telescope only then we can see that image and to the ratio is kaha mein lena hai to the angle subtended by object now this object is also at infinity but we have to see it directly it it should not be seen by the telescope for this angle it should be seen by seen by naked eyes or just directly that means angle subtended by object at infinity seen directly 
this ratio is beta upon alpha okay and we can approximate it to the ratio of 10 beta upon 10 alpha now our task is to find the value of 10 beta and 10 alpha similar to our previous case if we see in these triangles this angle will be alpha and this is beta so for beta the value of 10 beta will be a dash b dash upon b dash e so it is a dash b dash upon b dash e perpendicular upon base and for alpha it is a dash b dash upon a dash b dash upon o b dash so this is the same upon a dash b dash alpha is 10 alpha is a dash b dash upon o b dash this we have to put here so the value of m will be a dash b dash upon b dash e upon a dash b dash upon o b dash so m is equal to o b dash upon b dash e now the values for these lengths o b dash this is O, this is B dash. O, B dash is the focal length of objective and taken in right or in the direction of light. That means plus F naught. So, we can write O, B dash as plus F naught and B dash E is the focal length of eyepiece. But we have to take it from eyepiece. So, from E to this point, it will be taken as negative opposite to the direction of travel of light. Means this is minus F E. So the value we get is minus F naught upon F E. This is the magnifying power in this case. So magnifying power of telescope when it is in normal adjustment. Normal adjustment means its final image is forming at infinity. At that time it has magnifying power minus F naught upon F E. Again here also F naught should be greater greater than F E. F naught should be greater greater than F E to get large value of m okay for high value of m f naught should be greater greater than e and similarly to the last case negative sign here indicates that the image form is real and inverted this is the significance of negative sign in the value of magnification so that was the second case of normal adjustment that's all for the video of astronomical telescope for reflecting type telescope next video is on reflecting type telescope so for those stay tuned and keep studying thank you